Dan Aaron, Superintendent Martha Martinez told me the district is currently facing a multi-million dollar budget deficit, and now they're going to have to make some very tough decisions moving forward. At Sherwood Hall Friday, <laughs> Salina City Elementary celebrated 150 years of rich school history. An archive of teachers, students, and records dating as far back as April of 1873. The salaries for the teachers for the month was $480. The superintendent's salary was $20 a month. The janitors, $16 a month. Meanwhile, wood and rent cost a combined $35 a month. And so the total budget of the school district was? $6,000. But fast forward to today, and the district needs more than the $72,000 budgeted annually in 1873 to make up for their current financial woes. There will be uh, tough decisions to be made. Um, we have a budget deficit that we're facing this year. Martina says all told they're facing over a $5 million deficit. She says the deficit is a conglomerate of a number of variables, including decreasing enrollment and rising costs to employees. Now the district is looking at what's called zero-based budgeting. What are the mind priorities that we want to put our resources behind? Because we do have a tremendous amount of resources. And how do we fund those? And then where can we scale back? As for what those scale backs could be, Martina says it's premature at this time. Tonight we're just celebrating. <laughs> I, I love tonight. I think it is just exemplifies um, what Salinas is about. Saw the talents of our of our children, our talents of our administration, our talents of uh, teachers. Now, Martinez said the district will have a budget development committee coming up here in the next couple of weeks. That'll consist of the community, school district administration, and school district staff. Reporting in Salinas, I'm Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.